Hey there everybody, this is Piper here and today we're going to be playing some more Infested Planet. So the previous video, I was going for one of the Steam achievements, it was called Champion Courier, if I remember correctly, and it was basically complete a level called Preparations. Complete that level within 10 minutes, it's quite a challenging mission. So that was a previous video and this video we're going to do another achievement and it's going to be slightly harder than the last one, it's going to be complete the last level. It's, it's basically called Back from the Dead and the achievement title or description under 10 mutations at once, undo 10 mutations at once during the end game mission. So basically it's complete the last level and then at the end undo the mutations so you need about 10 of them and I've already bought the upgrades so we'll start the campaign and that's the level there end game it's a story mission so if you look at the, the upgrades I've basically bought everything bought everything except the extra medipod I can't really afford that um, it's only it's not really very beneficial to be honest I mean I'm gonna buy the life support anyway so we've got extra mini guns got flamers got mercenaries uh, the shotgun dude and the sniper so basically everything there except the medipod I've bought uh, we're going to jump straight into this, so this end game, and there's a little story behind it. So it's basically saying this is the the last area that needs to be destroyed. We've, I've completed this before, but we're brief playing for the achievement. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to load up on mercenaries. We're going to put a mine right here to defend the base. We're going to go straight into it. So we're gonna cap we're gonna do this fast. We're gonna or as fast as possible. So we're gonna capture this first base. I'm gonna put another mine there. It's gonna defend the base. And then we're gonna go for a little bit of a rampage. So we're gonna go we've got mines there, we're gonna go straight in. I'm going to do as much damage as possible to this area. So this is the, the sort of the central nerve area of the entire alien species. So if you've ever, ever played the, or ever watched the films Starship Troopers, again really amazing films. Quite funny actually, kind of a cross between comedy and almost like Star Wars, like sci-fi. I'm gonna go up here. Let's get as much damage as possible on these areas. Again, okay, we probably don't have to complete the actual level. Just gotta get these 10 mutations. And then just have to put one of these pod things into the center. And that will give us the achievement, hopefully. But we need to do well enough to survive long enough to get 10 mutations. So we're gonna have to be pretty careful in how I play this. Again, some parts in this game is a little bit laggy. I don't know why that is. It's not really a, a very de demanding game. It's a 2D platform game almost. But I noticed that in the previous video, there were parts where I actually lagged a little bit. So we're just gonna make our way up here. We're gonna take out this high thing, it's called a guardian nest, spawns aggressive guardians, so these things are a bit, a bit annoying, I'm going to take it out and then hopefully it won't come back, we'll just see what's happening over here, so that mine could have been a bit further forward, let's blow that thing up, let's get those two things there, let's do a bit more damage down here, pull these guys down here, Then we we'll take these things too, and then we're gonna withdraw back to the the main base. It's just look, looking a little bit not bad. I mean, we've got mines there that will defend that base. It's only that one there that's coming up that might be a little bit problematic, but we've got plenty of troops now. 
and we've got some building points as well. So we're going to pull all these building point things, whatever they're called. And then we can build more things. So I think we're going to go for... I'm still trying to decide what's the best upgrades. I think we're going to go for... I really do like the grenades, but they are quite expensive. The chopper strike's pretty effective. Let's go for the chopper strike. And we will go for... If I can afford it. Well, grenades are 8. Life support is 6. Let's go for life support. more trips. We build ammo supply, yeah, build that. Build that for the the helipad, then we get extra ammunition. Oh. Saves up extra ammunition. I think we're gonna move this over slightly. Just so we get the full the full wave. So that's getting built. I think probably the best thing, I mean, we've, we've done a lot of damage here. I don't think the things there actually come back. So that's going to be pretty okay. Well, if you go down here, there's less hives down here. There's one, two, three. There's a lot of them up there. So let's go, probably rather go south, to be honest. Can't build anything, so we've got zero building points. So I think what we're gonna do is we are gonna keep a rifle dude right there. And take him out and make group one. So group one is gonna go on the offensive down south. He's gonna defend that area against that wave. The rest of these guys come down here. This is what I've seen before about Starship Troopers. Have you ever seen that amazing film? Basically about, in the future, mankind has to fight against the alien bug race, or bug species rather. So you get bugs, bugs just flying everywhere, it's a pretty amazing film to be honest. Almost like that here, that obviously we're playing in a, a 2D setting. So I don't know what half of these mutations do, I can see things bubbling around over here. Right, we've got to have to go back and defend the base against this thing. Got two uh, chopper strikes coming in, that's going to do a lot of damage. We've got the, the life support as well. So hopefully we can destroy this thing and then we can go back to our attack on the, the hive. So these guys are recharging, they're rehealing themselves, got the, the officer there. They're gonna go back down south and try and capture that that hive. Cause we don't wanna use those pod things too much. Cause we've gotta get gotta let the mutations build up. So let's use the chopper for a strike. I think in the next upgrade, definitely going to use... So that is the... What are we missing here? That's the heli, heli pad thing. It's the mini gunner. that's expensive, but very good to have. get one of these guys back to rebuild that helipad. These guys 
then you'd capture that thing. And because once the helipad comes back, we'll have access to the ammo dump. And because the ammo dump by itself doesn't really do anything, you really need it with the the helipad for it to do some, something. So once the helipad comes back, we'll capture that thing, and then we'll destroy that thing, and then we'll start making our way to the left. It's again a little bit. We've got a guy up here, but there's going to be a, another spawn. Let's capture that base thing, and that basically spawns extra soldiers. So they're AI soldiers that will start fighting up to the hive. But we need to defeat this hive thing again. There's a burrowing hive that's just made its way there. So we're doing pretty well in this level. We're going to probably have to put some more mines up here. They're going to fight their way up there, so that's pretty effective actually because there's a, a swarm coming down there. Let's defeat this thing. And then... Well, there's a base over there. If you capture... These are actually barracks. If you capture all these, it spawns the, the AI soldiers. So I really want that guy to be a, a shotgun dude, but to be honest, I think I'd rather keep the, the building points. So what we're going to do is, we're going to do this, we've got mines there, we're going to put these guys around, blow up that thing that's spawning the mutations, and then we'll get seven building points. I really want the grenades. So I think I'm going to save up the building points. Let's go for a rampage in this area. They're going to hit the mines. And we're going to do some damage here. So we've got three heli strikes saved up. Which we're going to use here. Mutation Brute Guard. I don't even have a clue what that is. Gonna be a, a massive strike right here. Which is the way you want to do this. You want to make sure you're coordinating your attacks. It's really, I hit that thing first. That's the guard thing or the the shield. But that's getting hit. So that minefield is actually holding pretty well. Pro probably a good decision by moving it over. So we're going to capture this thing. We're going to blow up that thing and then take the the hive or the the barracks. That's going to spawn more guys. Underground hive attack imminent, which is always a bad thing. We're going to put a load of mines right here. I think this is going to be our swarm that comes down to try and attack that again. Where's the, the hive? So the hive's over here. So it's going to spawn up here somewhere. So far we've got one, two, three, four, five, six mutations. We just need to get another four. So we've got our mines right there. It's going to spawn over here. I just know it. Yeah, it's going to spawn. So we're going to blow it up when it's going to be right there. So if we can get right into it and fire some rockets, there it is. We're going to put the two heli strikes in as well just to make sure it dies fast. And there's the, the other swarm coming down here.
So that's our whole team coming down. We want to really push our way up here now, try and get some of these building points. Then we're going to get the grenades and then start doing damage. So there's the, the benefit of having those AI guys. They're just absolutely hauling ass up here. Got the mines over here. They're doing their stuff there. Okay, you're going to take out that thing. What the hell is that? Rifle Marine. Is that within range? That's not within range. Let's see if this does anything. So we want to take out that thing there, anything that spawns any of the bugs, just take it out. And that's the flamer dude. Let's capture these things. Can he get up there without getting shot? Yes he can, now let's get back to here. Let's get the other one. Should really be using the scout actually, the scout's actually a lot faster than the, the soldiers. He's gonna go in and just check the overall map. The massive spawn has come down here. Probably gonna have to put something else here. I mean, those mines probably will hold out. Now we're going to go for the grenades. I've got enough. I don't know if these guys are expensive. If the grenades are worth it, but I think they're pretty cool to watch. Got more AI guys going up there. Got some more denied, well, denari, more building points to play with. What else can we build? Let's build the okay, reinforcements possibly. Let's build more men. Let's make another group, group one. This is the next one. And we're gonna have to put something else here, I think. Don't think we have any points left though. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to get the last of the building coin things. Pull that in. Might even build another minefield up there. Just to support that area or... I mean that's a pretty large swarm that's coming down. I think we're going to do this. We're going to... Well, I was going to put a minefield right there. I don't really see the point in that because we have got a minefield here. But sometimes these guys are coming down over here. So I think the best thing is put the minefield right there. Take away that minefield. Then we can put another minefield maybe like right there. And that will help these guys just get up. They don't have to worry about attacking those things. They'll get further up. We're going to put the minefield right here well why let's just attack why the hell not so they're in for a world of pain this base is going to buff in flames these guys have grenades and there's three helicopters coming in to the next one. Mutation Hive Hardening. So that's the next mutation. So we're up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I think there's about 7 mutations. 
and that'll be the second base right there. So we're doing pretty well here, we've got quite a lot of the, the tech now. I'm going to go for the reinforcements I think. Pull that in. So that means if any of our troops die, they'll get sent straight to the front lines. Okay. What we're going to do now is we're going to put a minefield right there. We're going to basically... Stop the path of the swarm. But there is a underground hive coming in up here. This is more important though. can take these uh, outposts back. We just don't want our front line to be compromised. That was probably a bad move to make, running our men straight through the, the main hive. But kind of had to be done because this thing needs to be taken out ASAP. Don't want him to move, you want him to stay there. Once that dies, we can go back to kicking ass up here. So the good thing about taking that barracks, basically freed up three AI, and they're going to hold back that swarm, because there's nothing really here to defend that area. So everything's safe. Let's take this back to the main base. And let's get the rest of these building thing, building coins. What are those things called? Building coins? Let's take this back. So those minefields are doing pretty well. So one, we're up to for the mutations. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need two more mutations. If we're going to put another minefield up there, I think. I mean, I'm playing this pretty safe. I mean, the worst the thing you don't want to happen is you don't want to sort of overstretch yourself and something spawns behind your base and you have to come back and defend. You don't have these mines blocking the swarms. We need to help these bases up here pretty damn fast to be honest. Something's going it's up here. We're gonna use the, the helipad just to help this area out a little bit. So that it poses in danger of falling. Mutation counter attack. Basically, need one more, one more mutation, and then that should be the achievement for us. We just need to put one of those pod things into the main base. So that minefield is a really good investment, actually. That's basically saved two bases. Take away... Right, do we need that? Okay, we'll keep that there just in case. If that changes direction, that might be useful. And I think we're gonna... Okay, right. These guys have to go up here because... If you put a mine right there... That'll be pretty beneficial. Is that going down? Right. Okay, 
main fields. That's the way I really play in this game. Wanna use my minefields are really cheap. It's got another mutation in what one minute. So I don't know where that's gonna be at another mutation, or that'll be the same as before. Let's get another man. Getting a little bit laggy right there. So we're wanting to get the, the minefield right there. And that'll help us with this problem of the swarm in this area coming down to attack that base. Then we can concentrate attacking this area. If you got it in. So we got it in, and I think we're going to put another one in there just for good measure. So that's going to sub completely secure this area. That mindful goes in, and that mindful goes in. Now we're going to start attacking from the other direction. I've got what, five building points left. We're going to make him our shotgunner. That means he's going to totally be able to defend this area. A combination of the, the minefield and the shotgun. That should hopefully hold this area. If anything ha does happen, I do have the, the airstrike. So we're up to the mutations. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So let's attack this area. However, we want to keep our shotgunner there. And let's put in the... Airstrikes. Mutation reflection. No idea where that is. Just don't want anything to spawn down here. Oh shit. So we do have the the minefield right there. Nothing really defending this area. Come on guys. Don't worry about them, just get the base. I think I'm gonna build a, a turret here because that spawned back so many times. So he's got a shotgun and uh, a grenade launcher. Reflect. So is that is that thing died yet? Let's kill everything here. And then let's get back to where we need to go. So you hear that beeping noise, that means that a base is under attack. So those guys are trying to shoot the main base. I mean they're you have to applaud them for trying to shoot the main base. I'm just going to use the helipad on it. There possibility they might capture that base. So we're going to use the, the heli gun and they're going to take that out just to secure the area. We're going to go back to attacking the northern area of the, the highs. I think these areas are pretty well point lost. Shit. Okay, back down we go. Can't 
capture the base. So I've got a funny feeling that we'll just go back to the enemy. The enemy starts spawning there again. So we need to get down there as fast as possible. That's secure. Okay, shh. We've got guys coming up here. They're going to help out. So we've recaptured that point. Underground hive attack imminent. So I hate that underground hive one. Because it can spawn anywhere and it always spawns like the worst possible place. More minefield? Nah, I don't have enough points for the minefield. I'm just gonna put a minefield right there to protect that base. We're gonna pull these guys back because I know that thing's gonna spawn there again. Right, I'm going to take away that minefield and use that for something else. So it looks like I see a lot of those bubble things right here. I think it's going to spawn here. Let's move these guys up there. Yeah, it spawned right there. I'm going to put one heli strike in there just so we can destroy this fast. We've got two more strikes left. We can use oh shit, look at that. Use them on the, the northern area. I think that's probably the best way. I don't know, there's like two mortars right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we've actually got eleven, so I reckon if you put the the mutation in that, we're gonna win. So let's do that and let's get the victory. Or let's get this uh, Steam achievement. So I've completed this uh, campaign previously and that's basically what you do. You want to capture these areas, use the mines to block the spawns and either tack up this way first. That's probably the better way to go actually. There's only one mortar there, two mortars up there. All these guys to gather around the the pods, and there's ten mutations there. Just double check: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So there's, there's definitely more than ten mutations there. Let's put our guys in there, and we'll get the achievement. So we're putting these pod things into the main one. Putting a couple of heli strikes just in case. And that's the achievement right there, back from the dead. So it's not really uh, that much of a difficult achievement to get. You just gotta play this level normally. Don't use any of the, the pods. And once you get the 10 mutations, put one of those pods into the, the main site. And then you'll get the achievement. So I think I'm gonna wrap up this video. I mean, this video is only here for the, the same achievement. We've actually managed to get that now. So we're going to end the video right here. Uh, thanks for watching this Steam Achievement video. Hope you now know how to get the Steam Achievement. Definitely play Infested Planet if you haven't already. It's a great game. Very smart game, very challenging game. you really got to think about how you use your resources. Give it a go if you have the chance. Again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. This is Piper signing off.